Hi guys, so welcome to part three. Let's now look at all the tensions and the mysteries and all the creepy intervals. Okay, ultimately, an interval is the vibe created when two musical sounds collide or meet together. An interval, in my opinion, is an actual musical sound. If you were to just play E. that's just a sound in my opinion which is tuned to a certain fundamental vibrating frequency but a musical sound is actually when you have two of these objects colliding with each other and the collision can be calm and peaceful like we heard earlier like the fifths very stable and sort of relaxing or the minors or the major third minor third in the octave they are very calm then you have the other level of emotions which are sort of like bridges to go back to stability and now we are also looking at the tensions which is which is ultimately life in general right we all go through every single emotion over our lifetime probably some of us through the same day uh, or over the same day so let's now look at all the tensions or mysteries as i call it sometimes okay so the first one you'd like to learn is usually everyone's favorite for all your heavier stuff which is your tritone and it's a very symmetric interval so if you play root e tritone which is b flat or a sharp you can actually you can also form, form the octave Okay, so why why we call it a reverse or a symmetric interval is because this one's tritone or B flat's tritone ends up being E again. So you get you can play yeah, that's me trying to play a very popular song. But anyway, so you go you can play a higher tritone probably save both your fingers by starting with the middle finger so higher tritone it sounds very like uh, diabolic and very sort of you know villainous right or very against the system i as as i sometimes use it for you know build a riff just with the root and the tritone right another cool way to use the tritone is probably for some bluesy stuff right which is also a little bit painful the lyrics are a little bit sadder you know in fact that's like a blues scale in that blue scale have root major third perfect fourth perfect fifth flat seven which we learned in video 2 octave and for more spice we add that tritone la da 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 de da very normal some people try to do some hammering or maybe bending guitarists do a lot of bending bass players generally don't at least i don't so you can right you could put that together you could hammer on right or pick it or if you know hammer ons you could do like very riffy or if you want to just use the tritone yeah you can get some more evil stuff going on it's definitely a tension as i'm sure you guys are hearing another interesting interval which we use a lot in the east is the minor 2 which can also sound scary at the same time it could be very cultural you know so if i play if i just keep this is the minor second or the flat 2 which can be found next fret same string tritone was next string next fret 
you're moving like an L here you're just moving immediately so so that's your root flat to back to root again it can be used beautifully to make riffs just with root and the minor too you know you can go like follow the groove of the drummer or the other musicians of your band and and just roll with this you could also play it lower and if you combine this with some of the other intervals you learned you can create a very beautiful sound Middle Eastern sort of vibe, right? Or a lot of people have used it. interesting it can immediately change your perception about you know playing music when you have all the sounds freely readily available at your disposal so practice them well okay so we've learned the tritone we've learned the flat 2 let's now learn another tension which is the major 7 so again it's all on the same fret in in respect with respect to this e So if you take E F minor second tritone this is your major 7 ironically the major 7th is part of the major scale right but it is considered a tension because you're hearing it those notes are sort of as you can hear they're sort of fighting with each other aren't they yeah so you would definitely want to use that to sort of lead back to the root i guess so you go you know so you just add that for that additional flavor that additional color boom okay do boom ba re re bu bu re ro re te du 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 te re tu du 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 te re 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 ro re So you can actually create some very beautiful melodic lines because that is still part part of the major scale. So if you play the major scale, you know the usual way. You're not getting things which are very uh, relatable or very rememberable. So that's where you do a few skips. Maybe you could do root, second, third, fifth. and then immediately the seventh but then you can't stay there so you resolve it back to e so you have a riff right there quite calming actually now now that i put it all together isn't it like if you want to play a very shiny very uh, uplifting bass solo yeah you could you could use that so even though it is a tension there is a lot of like very peaceful calmingness to it as well okay so we've learned tritone minor second major seventh so another uh, another two intervals which we haven't yet learned which i consider as mysteries because you can use them in a lot of circumstances you can use them as a Uh, resolution sometimes they feel like normal you can use them and sometimes they feel like a tension and sometimes they lead back to something or they could be called as an anticipation so let's look at e and let's look at how to build first of all the minor 6th which i like to form here so that's the fifth which you already know so when you're building more intervals perhaps you could rely on the ones you already have known is the fifth perfect the minor 6th is right above the right so you feel that tension that mystery and now you feel the calmness right and for a bass it's it's even more uh, mysterious like so you can go you 
also use it to you could eventually lead back to the resolution but use this as a connection use this to add some spice or some flavor stuff like that so the minor 6 is a great interval another interval which you might find very useful is the major 6th which is found here how do i form it again so minor 6th i told right perfect 5th plus 1 1 fret uh, this thing the major 6th will be this interval which you already have learnt minor 7th minus 1 or if you want to ignore what i just said skip a string down a fret skip a string down a fret so i'd prefer to perhaps in this shape play it index finger on root sorry middle finger on root and index finger on major uh, sixth so this is your major sixth <coughs> minor six a lot more diabolic a lot more evil or mysterious while the major six is very sort of bright or very grand very epic as i sometimes call it right right so yeah we've pretty much covered all the tensions as well right we've covered the tritone the uh, the Ar arabic uh, minor second you know the very middle eastern vibe and very uh, beautiful as well <clears throat> then the major seventh which brings up a lot of you know bright and uplifting elements then you also have the minor sixth which is a bit more you know james bondish ah, i like that yeah and then you have the major sixth which can be played here or if you can stretch you can also play it <coughs> here Okay, I think I've pretty much co covered all intervals which you can find <clears throat> on the bass guitar, which are actually all the intervals in music, if you think about it. Even if you're a piano player or a guitar player, you're going to work towards the same goals, towards the same objectives. It's just that on the bass, we need to really respect these intervals for what they sound like. Because every decision we make on the bass is important. We use it a lot to support the band to really make the guitar sound better, to make the vocalist sound better and just sort of glue the band. The bass is sort of the locus where everything meets, you know. So every decision you make is important. Now in this lesson, I haven't talked about a lot of rhythmic things. That is also important. But harmonically and melodically, you also have to make a very, very strong decision or a strong judgment. So please learn your intervals and remember we've divided them into, you could say, three categories now. We have the resolutions, we have the anticipations and you have the mysteries, okay, which I've covered. So if you'd like any of my notes from any of these lessons, we have it in a neat booklet which I've written down, handwritten it down. So <clears throat> do consider picking it up and subscribing to our channel. You can PayPal us or Google Pay us if you wish. And as always, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music. Do consider liking our channel, like rather liking this video, subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And do not forget to turn on the bell icon for notifications. Don't worry, it won't scare you. Just turn it on. It'll just send you a simple reminder whenever we release a ne another lesson. We do riffs on our channel which I play on the piano and various instruments. We also do a lot of theory lessons, ear training lessons, composing lessons. We also do some performances which are quite cool and uh, a bunch more. So we'd love to have you, you know, officially part of the Nathaniel family. Just hit that button, right? So I will see you in the next lesson. Hope you guys have found this entire series useful. Thanks again for following through for this entire series. I will catch you in the next one and have a great time.